Thank you, my lord. I have no further questions. No further questions, yes, no further. Mr. Ramosipiri. Uh, thank you, my lord. I mean, that's it. Uh, Colonel Hose, if I can ask you for status, let us go to the the 205 in respect of accused number two, the 060-901-6890 number. <coughs> the one we asked yesterday? Yes, I think that's the one. Okay. And we, if we may start at the beginning, I want you to explain to me some glossary of terms that are used in this uh, section 205 called data records. Yes. 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 Uh, right at the top, uh, where it says MSD and N, M, I, M, A, and all of that. Can you enlarge it? Because my eyesight is failing me from here. Yeah, right at the top. <coughs> MSISDN, that's the cell phone number, 276090 MSISDN, Number eight four two seven six zero nine zero one six eight nine zero. And this we have, or we are agreeing, that it identifies the subscriber to a service provider. Correct. That is number. So, that's correct. And the two seven is the country code dialing code. For the Republic of South Africa. That's correct. But Now, let us go to the IMSI, the IMSI. IMSI is the uh, cell phone card identification number. And you go IMSI, Lana, Okulumu Shuti, Ga E, E, Gama, L, E, Gama, the cell phone card. Sorry, the number? No, no, no. Before you read it, uh, that IMSI, it's, it's got, for our region, uh, which we follow, the North American region, not the European region, correct? I'll explain to you how, what I mean. Huh? It's got three parts, right? The digits that are there. Huh? The first three digits will tell you who the service provider is, correct? I think the numbers of calendar so tell you to the service provider. No, 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 I'm sorry. The first one is the country code. 655 is the country code for the SIM cards for South Africa. But to 655, you get numbers that you And then the zero one, it will be either the three mobile network operators that will it will be either CLC, Vodacom, or MTN, right? The two digits. And the remaining digits will show you on CLC, for example, whether it will be a contract phone, identify that subscriber, whether it's a contract phone or a prepaid phone. Right. Material is in a bed and the lago is so nice. So, combi so what is cell phone in a contract in Oma, a cell phone a prepaid. Right now, 655, the country code of South Africa, we agree. Uh, zero one, and if you don't agree with me during lunchtime, you can go and check the uh, numbers for those three. 07 will be cell C. Mateo, we are 
will be empty uh, Vodacom. And then 10 will be MTN. Now let me refer you to a next chart to exhibit DD5. DD5, this annexure. Yeah, about the annexure, what, what number? No, the, the whole annexure. Uh, just go to the front page, uh, for yeah, example. About the annexure, exchange, annexure, A, B, C, D. Which one is the this, this one. Yeah, but what station? What's the annexure number on the piece, sir? On the bottom. Oh, annexure one. Sorry, 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 uh, Lieutenant Kennedy. Now, if we look at SIM card one, uh, that you say the IMSI is 655 You see that? That's correct. And you have one of your IMSI, 655-10-3527-4924-69. Now, relating and reconciling with what I started with, giving you the MNC, the Mobile Net Network Code mm -hmm. for particular service providers. Mm -hmm. You've classified that as MTN mm -hmm. under the code 10. That's correct. Right. But if you look at the <coughs> section 205, it will be under 01 MTN. If you go back to the, the section 205 call data, uh, detail, uh, call detail, you see that? Now, what I'm, I'm, I'm suggesting to you is that in this, from the very first start, uh, and that's been my instructions, I had <laughs> to go and research it because I, I had issues with my instructions because bells were ringing when he tells me this number, the 060-901-6890, we've already said in your evidence in chief in my initial course examination as well. He does acknowledge that it is number, but it's a Vodacom number. And that is confirmed by the MNC in the middle, 655, the 01. It's a Vodacom. It's not an MTN as per your annexure here. That's correct. But the job is 60901169 to move back up. How can we say that you have Vodacom? I have found you have to open it up to put it on MTN or to open it up. Now, if you look, if the telephone cell number, the 609, uh, says this is the number and this is a Vodacom, the section 205 that you obtain, because that will clarify us, where did they come from in, in terms of the service provider? Is it MTN? Vodacom. That's correct. But you have a Vodacom in 205. So, in essence, your annexure, page one, annexure one, when you classify the SIM card one as MTN and putting the mobile network code as 10, it was an error on your mistake. Would you uh, agree? Uh, well, that part, yeah, but I, I see I've accidentally put the IMSI at the second number with the same, the, the IMSI number, is, I'm, I'm SIM card two is right there. If you look on that stage. Six double five zero one double four six double two nine five two one. 
So, they, so I've had the two numbers of the wrong way, but there is a SIM card number there, so yes, and that is a very cool number, that's correct. Okay, we have a comparison with the number. Now, let's go to SIM card two, and I'll tell you in relation to our next, uh, I think it's six and eight, but let me go there before I even... <coughs> so this one is missing the other bits of the election. If I may be given a minute. Sorry, my daughter, may I confirm with my colleague? So, yes, we can have the same as you see in the system. Yes, 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 yes. If I may be uh, indulged, my daughter, mm -hmm. is the court case? Yes. I do have the one as well. Yeah, let's go to our next uh, Yeah, of course it's. Thank you. Yeah, let's go to our next uh, eight. That says the Samsung model SM J500F in brackets, the linkages with database annexure eight. Are we there? That's correct. Yeah, now if you look at the, the, the schematic representation or the diagram that is there, in terms of SIM card 2, which is attributed to accused number 2 with number 072 505 There are linkages there. On your right, it will say, and then you say I choose number five at O seven one five nine five one two three nine. You see that? That's correct. Actually I wanna end up O seven two we cut two you know about corners O seven two five four five seven zero five six. We call out Kuman and then I got Fiso Gutle and do the Atlu is Sani or accused number five zero seven one five nine five one two three nine at Yabo. Just for my edification, uh, when you say communication I mean linkage with database, what are you meaning? Are you meaning it communicated this number in particular, the 0715951239? Are you saying that it communicated with the SIM card 2505-7056? That's according to the database, that's what I received from Understand that correct. And your multi linkages with databases are multi command in the Nale 072505 7056. But now, in terms of the call data records in respect of accused number two, the records that are obtained show the 060 901. 6890 mm -hmm. communicating with this number that is attributed to accused number five. Not O <coughs> not the 072-505-7056 communicating with the number of accused number five. Do you see what I mean? Do you see that? Yes. I mean, you can even go to, so, so, sorry, Mr. you can even go to the call data records themselves, the section 205 itself. That's correct. 
Right here, we're going to arrow section 205. Now, which one is which, Lieutenant Kennel? Did this number, the 072-505-7056, or the 060-901-6892? Communicate with the number attributed to Lungisani, Fisogute at Lungisani. Which one is which? According to the data, that's uh, the section 205, it was 0, 76090168890. But you give a number, every command, another number, then you got Fisogute into that Lungisani. I go up by the way, that was 0609016890. Now, again, in Annexure 8, would I be then correct to say it was an error on your part to say that SIM card 2 with number 072-595056 communicated with the number attributed to Fisokutlen Tuli at Lungisani? That's correct. Okay, I put out with you 072-505-096. It could mean a number uh, uh, Lungisani. Okay. Now we've clarified those issues. There's an issue that I want to clarify so that we, we are on the same page as I go along with my cross-examination. During all my colleagues' uh, examination of yourself, you've testified that in order to prepare the work that we've done in this case, the request that you've been requested by the, the investigating team to do, you've had uh, uh, privilege the preview of the database received from Kennel Spain. Is that correct? That's correct. Now let's 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 break that down so that when I ask you, you mustn't say I didn't do this, it was Spain, I only did this. Uh, the database, what are you referring to that you received from Spain? Okay. My lord, the database is all the numbers, all information is put on a database from for analyst notebook of all the different cell phone numbers, contacts, section 205, uh, cell phone, cell phone uh, books, everything is on a database that is uh, to, to link like I've done the linkages on the cell phones. Uh, I'm a contact to my 205, I'm a cell phone box. Now, go and get on the database. Let us reduce it to its simple form so that I can put something that you haven't done and, and attribute it to you. Uh, Kennel Stain has already testified, and, and the raw data that is analyzed uh, involved the people that were in the house at the time of the incident on the 26th of October 2014. Uh, that was the, the section 205 of those persons. Did you have access to that? No, my lord. I think I'm a section 205, I to say, can I stay in what? I want to Were you informed by Brigadier Kininda because you need to do a holistic analysis. I do understand that you were only assisting with the number that allegedly was obtained from accused number two at Villaria on the 7th of February 2021 and the number also allegedly obtained from accused number five at Kalakwabusha prison. Uh, I can't recall the date but you were only assisting with respect to that, correct? That's correct, my lord. But as an analyst, in order to get a holistic picture, did you have or look at the information regarding the call detail records of the people in the house? Because it comes to the question that you were grappling with with my learned colleague, Mr. Mgomezu. My lord, I never had information about that. That was not part of my scope. My scope 
I'm just an analyst. I'm not an investigation officer. I get instructed what to do. Go look at this and this and this. And this is what the investigation officer needs. If he told me I must import of, uh, put the other data of the other people with, it would have been on my, on my statement. I was instructed. It's a specific instruction that was given by the, the investigation team. Um, it's not that I've done it out of myself. Because it, it emanates from, my question emanates from your use of the term, uh, the work, the analysis work that you were required to do was handed over to you because Lieutenant Colonel Stain was going on pension or retirement. So the concept of handing over is, is, is what I need us to clarify because, and, and tell me if I'm wrong. Yes. If, I mean, let's, let's take it out of the context of this case. If I, I'm an IO detective and I go on retirement and my colleague uh, uh, must take over, inherit my docket because it hasn't been finalized in the courts. Amongst other things, he visits the SAP 5 diary, right, to see where the investigations are and where he needs also to proceed. Is that correct? That's correct. But in order to now familiarize himself with the investigations, he needs to be, go back and, and see the statements that have already been obtained, familiarize himself with that, because it is an interlinked investigation. It's not a staccato type of investigation. Correct? My lord, there's one just clarify, I'm yes. not the investigation no, no, no. officer, yes. so I don't need to go back on any investigation. Yes. I work on what data, data that's given to me, not investigation okay. statements right. or evidence, yes. data that was given to me on section 205, and that's what I analyze. The data that's been from cell phone downloads, that do I do uh, analysis on. Um, by instruction of the investigation officer. If the investigation tells me this is a section 205, I need to look at this specific time, this number, I'll do analysis on that. I've got nothing to do with, with the other part of the investigation. That's the investigation team. I'm just the analyst on the cell phone data. So perhaps it was a matter of linguistics to say you were handed over some database from uh, Kennel State because you never referred to that. So you started the novel with the numbers that you are given in respect of accused two and five. I, I didn't know anything about this case <coughs> yes. when I started. Yes. I, I, I had no knowledge about this case. I was just contacted because can was staying, because of the knowledge of my uh, analysis. <coughs> I was contact uh, to assist Colonel Stein because he's going on pension. <laughs> Now let's go to uh, the particular analysis that you did in respect of accused number two for the number that you, you, you analyzed. Yes. And just to refresh, at the beginning of your evidence and also in cross-examination, especially by myself, I asked you this question, that you were informed that the phone that you analyzed, the number that you analyzed, the, the, the device thereof, 
was obtained or taken from accused number two upon his arrest. That was, it's also part of your affidavit exhibit DG5. No, it was found in his possession on, in February in, in the cells, um, not during his arrest. It was found in, his, in the cells during February. Colonel Stein, I'm going to so sorry. Colonel Host, I'm going to tell you that you are now adapting your evidence. And let me read for you paragraph six of exhibit DD5. It says do you have it in front of you? Yes. According to the, to, to the request, the phone was found in possession of accused, comma, Bongani Sandison Tanzi, in brackets, accused number two, during his arrest. Yes. I can read it further. Huh? I was requested, for, for, for completion purposes, because it's irrelevant for my question, I was requested to prove any communication between the accused and other accused in this matter and to determine if any photos, contact numbers, SMS, WhatsApp messages can be linked to the accused. This is your, 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 your. That's correct. And it doesn't mention any adaptation about being found 6 February story. That's correct. So why are you changing now to say uh, February 6th and it was found somewhere? Uh, that was the, this was given to me that it was found during the rest, my lord, sir. So, so which one is which? Because you were trying to adapt your evidence yeah, until I'm I showed not, you this paper. It's during his arrest. I don't know what, the, what date was your arrest. So you, the, the, I'm, I'm coming to that. Thank you, I'm coming to that. Okay. Accused hmm. number two was arrested on the 16th of June 2020 in Freedom Park, Rustenburg, where he was based and he was working at Impala Mine, Impala Platinum. Okay. And he has testified, and this version has been put to Sergeant Mohani, that upon his arrest, two phones were seized, confiscated from him by both the arresting officers, that is Sergeant Mohani and Sergeant Mabena. Yes. I'm waiting for the interpreter so that I can't deny. On the 16th of June, uh, a freedom uh, park, a um, so that uh, one of us was mine, license of corner, in part of mine, to a get a park, what to the other Amafun Amabili, we are a touch of who a touch of who search and Mohan and a search and my banner is cut a boat. And the two phones were the following. One was this J5 Samsung. We acknowledge that it is ours. We are not disputing that. The, the other one, and we'll see it, although it's not really visible on the photos that amongst the extract of the photos in annex, uh, 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 DD5, uh, your, your affidavit. It's a white phone that belonged to accused two sister. He took it from KwaZulu Natal in order to come and fix it this side because the screen was freezing. So it's that phone and the Samsung J5. Both phones were taken by the two arresting officers. Just for clarification, I'm just being corrected. The, 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 the phones were obtained at Rustenburg during his arrest. <coughs> now, for context purposes, because I need to be fair to you as well, Sergeant Mohani came and testified in this court. And when he testified initially, when this version was put to him, that uh, he seized 
to him and Mohani, uh, Mabela, the late, because the other one is deceased. When it was put to him initially, it was just a bad denial that we did not receive any cell phone on cell phones on accused number two during his arrest. Can't comment on it. I wasn't. I didn't hear it. That's too far. After the trial within a trial, he was recalled. Then, lo and behold, an affidavit comes. He says, on this day, on the 7th of February, 2021, Mabena, the deceased, received information to the effect that Accused number two is in possession of a phone in Villaria. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm going um, so long, we speak to a cell phone in Villaria. We are going to move to Sergeant Mabena, which is 7 February 2021. And that him and the deceased Mabena then attend upon Valeria police station, go to the cells where accused number two is, request the cell phone from accused number two, then accused number two gives him this Samsung J5. For contextual purposes. <laughs> What I'm just showing you is these sort of adaptations and, 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 and bribery, tailoring. Because at first he never said initially during the, 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 the main trial that, no, 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 by the way, I did and my banner went and obtained the phone on the 7th and then on the 8th, we take it to TSU Middleburg for analysis. It was just a mere denial. As a good person, I don't see how that can be characterized as, as an adapted, adaptation. Firstly, it must be borne in mind that Sergeant Mab Surgeon Mohan firstly testified in the trial within a trial, which was about the voluntariness of the statement or the admissibility of the uh, statement made by the accused mm -hmm. and later on he then came and testified on the on, on the merits but not, I, I'll, 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 I'll withdraw that question from the witness because he cannot yeah it's, it's neither here nor there okay because he says he was given <coughs> devices yes. to analyze yeah. never told that hey we picked up this underneath the bridge or what is it I wish he had said so uh, Now let's go to this cell phone uh, and track the movement of this phone, right? Because yesterday you said that you saw the to and the flowing as to uh, him saying, my little colleague saying it was found on accused number two in Villera and I say the opposite, that it was found initially on the 16th. Now, I need us to trace the movement of this phone, and uh, we will refer. I know some of the evidence you are not here in court, but it's of record. And if I put something to you, I would not be misleading you. My learned colleague is here. The court is here to correct me as well if I put the wrong version to you. Uh, the AVL evidence was led in this case by Mr. Dupree of c -Trek, and we will try to correlate that movement of the phone with the AVL record, right? <coughs> now, as a status, and I'm not saying you must agree with it, accused number one says, since the 16th of June 2020, that phone has never been returned to him upon his arrest. So far as he knows, it's still in the possession of the police. Accused one or accused? Oh, so, 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 thank you for correcting me. Accused number two. Okay, you stated like that? Yes. 
Tell me, sir, I'm sorry, class 16, which on 2020. I got a phone. I'll Perhaps, can I, uh, let me drink from your fountain of knowledge. Prior to you becoming a, a data analyst dealing with various devices, extractions, and all of that, you were also a decorated detective. Correct. Now let's start at the scene. You are going to a suspect's house. You find the suspect and your intention is to arrest him. What is the protocol before you bring the suspect into your police vehicle? You must search him. Thank you, thank you. And if you search the suspect, any object, device that you find on the suspect, what do you do with that device object? You put it into the, you confiscate it and you put it into evidence. And say, for example, in the case of a cell phone, because we are dealing with a cell phone here, you, 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 you know that the offense for which you are investigating may also involve cell phone evidence. What is the protocol of handling a cell phone from the seal? Switch it off. Now, we've admitted the, uh, the evidence yesterday without going into the details, and it's not my intention to do so. Uh, I'll refer you, there's an exhibit uh, which is Pretoria North because. Accused number two is arrested in Rustenburg and then is then transported to Pretoria North where he's held in custody on the 16th and the 17th of June 2020, right? <clears throat> and there's an entry, it's exhibit MM, it's of record, you may not be aware of it, but I'm putting it for contextual and background purposes. Uh, there's an entry at 2242, Exhibit MM, which is a, an extract from the Pretoria North Occurrence Books in the South. And it says, In transito, Detective Sergeant Mohane of National Police Unit with one male suspect on Longoma Cast 163, 10 of 2018, in brackets 1, Bongane Sandi Sontanzi, SAP 1464 of 6 of 2020, SAP 14A, the notice of right, uh, 51266, 765, I'm sorry, uh, time of arrest uh, is 2100. That means he was arrested at 9 o'clock in Rustenburg. <laughs> Uh, like Bali, when it's cut, it's cut 22 for the two, but it's a occurrence book. Then I have a little bit so that the Wabasha gets cut is cut nine. And now you arrive at the police station, you are bringing the suspect in that you've arrested. The booking process is done. What then happens to the accused before he's taken to the cells? When you went there, I'm sorry, I'm going to you some message in Missy Eboshi. I don't understand the question, my lord. Say, for example, let me put it bluntly. Does, do the cell masters also search the suspect to make sure that he does not come into the cells with any contraband, prohibited substances or objects? Is that done? Supposed to be, yes. Yeah, but 
here. Sorry, it's here. Now, I want us to look at the AVL record, and I want you to take into context this. Uh, call data records uh, because like I said the purpose mainly is to show who was in possession of the cell phone at all relevant times from the 16th of June 2020 until it was allegedly found on accused number two uh, on the 7th of February at Villaria SAPS by Mohane and Mabena We start on the 16th of June. Uh, if we may go to your, uh, the, the call data records, uh, Lieutenant, please. Right, you will see that uh, from the 17th of June, 2020, at 18.01.45 seconds, uh, the phone now registers at the 3G Pretoria North NGA. Do you see that? That's correct. But you want to transfer June 2020, so now 18.01.45. The phone there, you can be so good as Pretoria North, and it will ping or register on that network until the message stays safe at 18.02.46, uh, that's the same tower. That's correct. Now, just to go back and then I'll go forward. We already now know that on the 16th already, accused number one from 20 to 11 p.m. is in custody in Pretoria North. Per, 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 the background that I gave you. Now, what surprises me, in fact, let me say I'm not surprised. I am happy to see this phone pinging at Pretoria North uh, Tower because obviously, for obvious reasons, accused number one, uh, sorry, accused number two is already incarcerated in that police station. I think at all, so to go to the phone line, in combination to say Pretoria North Tower, go back to Boshi. But in terms of the protocol that you and I understand, this phone shouldn't be pinging any tower because it's supposed to be switched off at this point in time. Would you agree? That's correct. That is fair to put to the witness because Sergeant Mohani denied that they confiscated the phone. Yeah. Now, the proposition is put as if the phone was confiscated. Yeah. And th that might perhaps That's mislead uh, the witness. Yeah, uh, I'm not saying my learned friend is doing that. But this witness, if somebody has transgressed or infringed the protocols, <coughs> how would he know? And how does it assist this court? That's good. I mean, Let's leave it now. Right. And then let, let, let's go to the, in fact, let me put it this way, for contextual purposes as well. Sergeant Mohani and Sergeant Mohola both testified in this court that uh, on the 17th of June, they interviewed accused number two in the cells at Victoria North SAPS. Sergeant Mukhanen, who never did well, could miss an unsolder or speed, and was a seventeen or junior, good junior, a best epidur. Okay. 
That's not good. First, it's only Sergeant Mukhani who testified that not in the polo, and, and, and he testified that it was in the boardroom, not in the cells. Tell me for the boardroom meeting. Let, let, let me clarify, my, uh, my, my, my colleague is, is partly correct. Uh, Mohola testified that she only arrived towards ah, the okay, end of the meeting. But where are you, where are you getting to with this evidence? My because daughter, this witness, yes. this evidence is clear. He is given the disc and the PFD in a sealed envelope to say analyze the information. He does it. What happened, happened prior, he can testify to okay. that. All right. If uh, Mohula Mahano or Mabena broke or breached the protocols of the police, how does it help him? Okay. Now let's go to, in particular, this number, the 060 <sighs> 901-6890. In relation to your evidence in Exhibit 5B and 5C, your testimony is that this accused two communicated firstly with accused number five on the number 071-595-1239. That's correct. Lapage U exhibition five B and five C Utah Um Soda Speedy Ukumen Um Soda West Lan in number zero seven one five nine five four two three nine or six year. Now accused number two will tell this court that prior to the twenty seventh of October, twenty sixth of October, twenty fourteen, he did not know accused number five. So the speed is what you can feel so we're going to try 26 October 2014. We're going to have a I can't comment on it a lot. I don't know. I am proud of you, and that's good. In respect of accused number three, according to your analysis in both affidavits, you did not find any communication between accused number two and three, is that correct? That's correct. But he says, Accused number two will tell the court that it is so that you didn't find that communication because at that time he did not know accused number three at the time of this incident on the 26th of October 2014. <laughs> Furthermore, with respect to accused number four, accused, did you find any communication between accused number two and four in the analysis that you performed? Accused number two will then tell the court that it is unsurprising because at the time of the incident on the 26th of October 2014, he did not know accused number four as well. And then accused number two will further tell the court that he met accused number 345 for the first time at the Boxback Magistrates Court on the first appearance of this matter, the very exact matter, exact matter before this court. He met them in Boxback when it appeared in the lower courts. Now, let's go to your exhibit D, DD5 in brackets B. Mm -hmm. 
Are we there? Uh, paragraph 7.3.1. And your, your, your evidence in essence, uh, let me read from paragraph 7.3.1. You say, during cross-examination, it was put to me by counsel for accused number two, Bongani Sandi Isontanzi, that he, that client was not in possession of Samsung uh, model SMJ005 slash D, as with IMA numbers 3532-900-85-09-895 and IMA 3532-9108-509-889 when pictures were edited as per original statement dated uh, 16 04 2024 that is exhibit dd5 and then in brackets pages 13 15 16 17 18 21 and according to the data the pictures were accessed and edited on 2021 04 0 sorry 2021 of uh, how do i read this 2021 01 so that is the 4th of January 2021. Okay. 7.3.2 Screenshot of status as per original statement dated 2024 0416 in brackets exhibit DD5 reference to in brackets page 19. 7.3.3 photo that was taken on 2020 1029 of newspaper article about current case as per original statement dated 2024 0416 in brackets exhibit dg5 reference page 20 in brackets picture was accessed and edited on 2021 0111 you see that that's correct and then you say the section 205 data placed Bongani Tanzi near cell tower 3G Queenswood NGA that is 220 meters from Valeria SAPS. That's correct, Mama. And there's a picture there. I don't know what it depicts, uh, but I'm not interested in it in any event. What I'm interested in is the following. This one that says Section 205 data placed Bongani Tanzi near cell phone tower. What is the basis of you saying that the tower placed the accused there? Because the tower is 150 meters from Valeria Police Station. That's the nearest tower that was picked up by the cell phone. But in the in the Zuti Sora, in the Zuti Lapo, Zuti the tower, then I said to the police, the criminal summer police has said Valeria. According to the section 205, not according by me. I will show me. I will show section 205. You see, Colonel, the problem now becomes this. You remember the, the cross-examination of my learned colleague, Mr. Mgomezu, mm -hmm. when he put it to you that accused number three was not in forced arrest at the time of the commission of the offense. And your response was, you cannot say that accused number three was not there. You can only say that the device. You understand that? So the device was, okay, if you put it to me, the device was in the cells where the accused was also because this was 100, 200, 220 meters from the cells. So somebody else's phone that was in the cells? Yes. Is that what you... Yes, because the, the, the problem becomes when you try to put uh, uh, ready-made inferences by saying a particular person, because he was 220 meters away from this tower, you can now, through the data record, say it is exactly this person that was 220 meters away editing these pictures. You see the problem? As a it's a fact that accused number 
Tutu was incarcerated at Villarreal yeah, Police Station. Yeah, that's not disputed, Mr. Ramosipiji. You also admitted that your client was inside the cells at Valeria. Yes, I do. So what's the problem? Now it's I not... argue with the fact that it was not a cell or what, 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 because the facts show that accused number two was arrested and incarcerated at Valeria, which is 150 or 200 meters away from that our post. I mean, please. So, unless you say what your client was in Rustenburg or Phuket or wherever, Natal or wherever, but uh -huh. you yourself, wait, you yourself, you say your client was incarcerated in Valeria. And that pole is 200 meters, is it? 220 meters, my lord. 220 meters from the cells. So what are we getting at, please? My, my lord, you see, what is good for the Ganda must also be good good for the geese. Yeah, of course. Yes. The state cannot, in one instance, they say, no, 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 only that device was here, but the person may have been somewhere yes, else. Yes, they can't say that. But in yes. this case, according to you, your client was in Valeria. Yes. According to you. Yes. That's it. So what are we arguing about? My Lord, perhaps, you, you, you see, my Lord, at times, uh, mm. and I love to join Mr. Mgomezulu's sentiment, I, I'm not that kind of a person. My lord has got a tendency to be impatient. And I'm, I'm, not so, I'm, no, just, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm I had to put you. in my lord. Look, no, if I'm, I'm wrong, yes. I admit, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But you yourself, you said your client was at Valeria. And say, unless you say he was not there, fine. Then I withdraw everything. Because the other evidence that we need to hear, and that's been the trend, we need to hear it from the client. Instead of the court saying, did you say, say so? Because this one I say yes, because the court is validating the, that answer for the witness. No, I'm not. I'm just quoting the evidence as you have we, admitted. We, we are part of this evidence, my lord. We read the same evidence, we hear the same evidence uh, that his lordship is hearing. My lord, it's one o'clock. May we take a longer agenda? Mm. And this witness, he can't know where your client was. He can only testify about the device. But me, having listened to you putting the assertions, you said your sign was at Valaria. And when Mohano says he got the phone at Valaria, you said through your sign <coughs> he is not telling the truth. That's all. That's not what this is so allow me excoriated for quoting the evidence. No, 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 no. Let's take the law. No, Thank <laughs> you.